From a flash flood in Flagstaff, Arizona that swallowed everything in sight, and a semi-truck in California that got stuck in the same path of an oncoming train, to an elephant in Thailand that likes to rob truck drivers of their sugar cane, and an angry farmer in the UK who turned his forklift into a battering ram. Here are 10 incredible moments caught on camera. According to Robert Hooper, an Englishman's home is his castle. The 57-year-old man is a fourth-generation farmer in Newbiggin, a small village in Durham County, England. One day, he was out in his forklift when he saw a strange car parked on his land. Feeling threatened, Hooper went to investigate. The car belonged to two 21-year-old kids who had suffered a pair of flat tires. We're thinking the tires popped and the driver turned onto Hooper's property to get off the road. It should have been an easy explanation but it devolved into pure chaos. Oaks, we call roof. We call roof down. Oaks, we call roof down. Go. Oaks, my car broke down. My car broke down. My car broke down here. This is what he's done. Charlie! Charlie! This video does not paint Hooper in a good light. That's because you're not getting the full story. Our farmer had approached the young lads and asked them to move their car. He learned they'd been drinking all day at the local waterfall. The shirtless man in the video was seven beers deep when Hooper arrived. He allegedly struck Hooper, splitting his lip. That's when our farmer went on the ultra-defensive and removed their car from his land. His story held up in court, and a jury acquitted him on all charges. The phrase, an Englishman's home is his castle, comes from 1604 and apparently still rings true today. When people argued that Hooper took things too far, his lawyer invoked his favorite Mike Tyson quote, Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. If you're into glaciers, Iceland is the place to be. Tourists will arrive year-round to watch these massive icebergs break apart and fall into the frozen water. Just uh, don't stand too close to the edge. Calving glaciers have a habit of triggering tsunamis. On March 31st of 2019, glacier enthusiasts gathered on the edge of the Jokulsarlon Lagoon in southeastern Iceland. They came to see the, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce this, Breidamerkurjokutla Glacier, which is famous for its giant icebergs and retreating ice. You're pretty much guaranteed to see a calving event. These ice watchers got a little more than they bargained for. According to our cameraman, the area he was filming in is only accessible with the help of mountain guides. They told everyone it was okay to stand near the water, but if calving occurred, they were to leave the beach immediately. Everyone stayed safe and dry thanks to their guide's warning. Maybe next time, they'll stay up on the ridge overlooking the lagoon. If you travel along the Sacramento River, you'll eventually arrive in the small town of Redding, California. It's home to about 90,000 people and a local construction worker who was about to get the shot of a lifetime. It was October 4th of 2023. A semi-truck bottomed out while crossing the train tracks at the intersection of Breslauer and Highway 273. The excavator on top of the bed made moving the truck virtually impossible. And to make matters worse, a Union Pacific train was barreling down the tracks. Can we get a D9 
This is going to be interesting. Holy f are you kidding me right now? Police discovered that the truck driver was towing the Caterpillar tractor on a low clearance trailer. In other words, he was doomed as soon as he tried going over the tracks. Thankfully, nobody got hurt during the crash. Upon impact, the tractor came off the truck and smashed through one of the crossing arm controls. A few witnesses said the truck had been stuck for some time, but nobody ever called the railroad. If they had, Union Pacific could have contacted the train operator. Who knows, maybe he could have stopped in time. Graysville, Indiana is a small town in the southwestern corner of the state. Their biggest claim to fame was a post office from 1849 that's still in operation today. Then, in February of 2021, a magical spinning bullet took the town by storm. A group of friends wanted to see what would happen if they shot their 9mm pistol into a sheet of solid ice. So they strapped on some skates and moved into the middle of the lake. Now, you've heard of curving the bullet, but have you ever seen someone spin the bullet? Right, right at your skates. It dumped into your skates on your left now. Where? Right by you. That's the shell. Oh, the bullet. Look at it spinning like a top. It's right here. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> that is something. It is really going fast. It's skipping. Yeah. You couldn't spin it like that if you wanted to. <laughs> you saw it the same hole twice. That's all right. That's well, I think it's better like this. Oh, okay. I'd say you're not going to rescue the fish with that. No, nah, I'll take a bigger gun to get through the ice. There it goes. It's getting ready to quit. Killer, though. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Souvenir. The bullet spun like a top for just under a minute. After, we get to see just how large a hole that tiny 9mm round made. Our cameraman almost gets his entire hand inside. The question on everyone's mind is, why does the bullet spin like that? Well, it all has to do with something called rifling. When you fire a gun, the bullet passes through spiraled grooves inside the barrel. This causes it to rotate at lightning speed, increasing the shooter's accuracy. When it hits the ice, it can either get lodged inside or bounce like this one. Either way, it won't stop the bullet from spinning. So, if it lands just right, it'll create this spinning effect. It's unclear how many times these guys tried before they hit the perfect shot. Jorge Martinez and Gerardo Sanchez are a dedicated contracting tag team from Bakersfield, California. On August 23rd of 2023, they arrived for a routine job on Truxton Avenue. They had no idea this gig was about to make them famous. The home was owned by Stephanie Perez, a kindergarten teacher and mother of four. She had just dropped her children off at school and returned home to meet Jorge and Gerardo. They saw her park her bike near the door and head inside. Then, someone who didn't belong showed up. That is not Stephanie's son. That is a neighborhood bike thief who thought he could blend in. He even said hi to Jorge and Gerardo before he walked up and grabbed the bike. Luckily, Stephanie was sitting on the other side of the window and watched it happen.
Without hesitation, our contractors sprung into action. They hopped in their cars and chased after the brazen bike thief. Unfortunately, their heroism happened off camera. When we see them again, they're back outside the home, this time with Stephanie's stolen bike. She shows up in her car, still barefoot, and thanks her new heroes. Ta da! <laughs> As the story goes, Jorge and Gerardo pursued the thief into a cul-de-sac, where they found him hiding behind some trash cans. He got scared, abandoned the bike, and jumped over a neighbor's fence. Unfortunately, a German shepherd was waiting on the other side. Their good deed was captured on Stephanie's security system. Her friend uploaded it to TikTok, where it amassed over 37 million views. Today, Jorge and Gerardo are known as the TikTok Tios for saving Stephanie's bike. They celebrated over pizza and a six pack. It's true what they say not all heroes wear capes. Back in the early 1800s, the country of India was under English rule. During that time, the Brits wanted to build some new infrastructure. So, in 1830, a railway company decided to construct the Amrutanjan Bridge to connect the cities of Pune and Mumbai. While it served its purpose back in the day, the old stone structure had become a major headache for modern Indian drivers. The bridge became synonymous with painstaking traffic jams. It was also losing its structural integrity and was condemned in 2017. Thankfully, no cars had been driving on the bridge for a while. They were actually worried that cars going under the bridge could trigger a collapse. The 2020 lockdowns offered the perfect opportunity to demolish this old English holdover. On April 5th, crews arrived to begin preparing the bridge for demolition. Large machines arrived on site to begin boring holes in the foundation. From here, crews worked to pack each and every hole with a small explosive charge already connected to a wire for detonation. They used what appears to be some sort of PVC type pipe to pack them in. Once that was done and the area was clear for safety, all they had to do next was press the button. Now it's unclear why all the explosives didn't go off simultaneously. Either there was a timing issue, or they wanted to weaken the pillars on the left a fraction of a second before the whole structure came down. Over the next four days, several trucks made 1,200 trips to move rocks and debris away from the area. Now, we're sure some Indians emerged from their homes and thought, wait, what happened to that old English bridge? Some were actually pretty upset. They wanted to preserve the 190-year-old bridge as a landmark. Most people think of dry deserts and extreme heat when they picture Arizona. But did you know that Arizona actually has a monsoon season? It lasts between June and September. High humidity can lead to severe thunderstorms, heavy rain, hail, and lightning. The people of Flagstaff, Arizona, a city about 150 miles north of Phoenix, had one of the worst monsoon seasons on record in 2021. Thunderstorms led to this flash flood near the museum fire scar on July 13th. Okay, we got logs. You may want to get out of there, Bob. Hey, move. Similar scenes sprung up all over Flagstaff, but it was nothing compared to the kind of flash floods we see in Southeast Asia. When most people hear the phrase monsoon season, they usually think of countries like China, Thailand, and Vietnam. On August 3rd of 2014, this Vietnamese village was nearly swept away during a massive flash flood. It looks like the flood came down the mountains and eroded the area before the building and the field. Unfortunately, these things usually get worse before they get better. You can see the moment when a massive surge of mud and water races down the mountain. Watch how much damage it causes in such a short amount of time.
Smoke starts rising from the buildings on the left. The flood damage may have caused an electrical box to short circuit. On the bright side, the rain should put any fire out immediately. It wasn't long before the entire area was impacted by the floods. If you look closely, you can clearly see smaller buildings and structures being washed away by the raging torrent of water. Sadly, 17 houses and cottages were swept away that day. It's unclear how much damage the flood caused in total. Something strange was streaking through the skies over Beaumont, California in December of 2017. The small city in Riverside County is home to roughly 53,000 people. Many of them didn't know Elon Musk was launching a SpaceX rocket on the night of December 22nd. The rocket took social media by storm. Some could hardly believe their eyes. Others pointed out how dangerous it was. The rocket was very distracting. This family of three almost learned that lesson the hard way. Everyone on the highway saw the launch. Unfortunately, many drivers decided to watch the rocket when they should have been watching the road. You can see where the drivers start slamming on their brakes to avoid rear-end collisions. Something bad was bound to happen. It was only a matter of when. Wow, look at that rocket, man. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's stopped from between? Wow, what is that? It's a rocket. No, but the thing is, it broke. Whoa! It broke? <laughs> this guy is not paying attention, man. Damn! Damn. Thank God, man. Oh, look at that, oh. She keep videoing. Can you please pay attention? Somebody's I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention. That guy I know. <laughs> Somehow, our driver's family managed to avoid the crash and keep going. The funniest part is how he immediately tells her to keep filming and she screams at him to pay attention. The SpaceX launch had everyone paying attention, especially when it began making strange shapes. In fact, one local sheriff's department had to issue an official statement, letting people know there was no reason to panic. Elon wasn't helping, though. He wrote, nuclear alien UFO from North Korea above someone's retweet of the launch. They say an elephant never forgets. Well, this elephant in Cha Choeng Sao Province, Thailand, never forgets where he can satisfy his sweet tooth. It's not uncommon to see Asian elephants on the roadside. It is pretty rare to get robbed by one. The locals call him Fatty. He's a 35-year-old elephant who's memorized where the sugarcane trucks are. Every year, he'll emerge from the forest and stop traffic along this main road. As you'll see, some of the drivers don't mind satisfying Fatty's sweet tooth. They think of it as a toll. Now apparently, Fatty isn't the only elephant that does this. Locals have seen some of his friends on the road doing the same thing. They'll even rummage through people's yards and stick their trunks through open windows. According to wildlife officials, Fatty and his friends don't do this because they're hungry. Human food, especially sugarcane, is better than what they find in the wild. 
there are only 2,000 Asian elephants living in the wild in Thailand. They're protected animals, meaning it's highly illegal to hurt them. These drivers don't mind losing a little sugarcane if it means they won't go to jail for accidentally hitting fatty. Songyuan, China is a prefecture-level city in Jilin province. It's home to about 2.8 million people who aren't used to seeing tornadoes in their backyard. After all, powerful twisters are pretty rare in China. On May 28th of 2018, one of those storms touched down a few miles outside the main city. Several locals hunkered in place, hoping the storm wasn't heading for their home. According to reports, this wasn't the only natural disaster to occur in Songyuan that day. Around 1.30 that same morning, a 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck. It's believed the earthquake triggered the tornado, though we have no way of confirming that. The combined damage left Songyuan in rough shape. Trees had fallen down, roofs were ripped up, and loose debris was scattered all over the city. You can see where the storm damaged cars and knocked over power lines. One woman had her windows blown out. The passing storm left her apartment in shambles. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.